Hello and welcome back to GameSpot's coverage of E3 2013. Sorry for the little bit of a delay, folks. We had some technical issues, but it's all going to be sorted in a second. We just had a look at uh, Killzone Shadowfall a second ago, but we're jumping from Helgen into the portal of power. Lou from Activision, yes. you're here to show us the Skylanders. Yes, yeah, Skylanders Swap Force. They're back, except this time you can literally rip their heads off, their stomachs <laughs> off, and stick them on other people. It's actually, if you check it out, it's really cool. You can actually mix and match the halves. Oh, man. Oh, so, man. Yeah, so let's grab another guy. Let's do a mix. Uh, and then you toss on the other half. And so now we've actually mixed it so that our vampire boxer night shift is combined with the lower half of freeze blade. So now he's an ice skating vampire boxer. Of course. Named night blade. Uh, uh, and, exactly. and, and this is the game. You just you just hit them off yeah, each it's other, really, right? You know, it's a, it's a rock em, sock em robot style. No, <laughs> you guys, you guys are bringing video games back to the physical realm. Exactly, which has yeah. Been, which has been something I think. No, of course not. This is this is a game that's coming out on basically every console ever created. What, yeah, what so platforms we're, we're, are you on? we're gonna be on uh, Xbox 360, one. Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, the Wii. Right. The Wii U. Wow. And the 3DS. Wait, the original Wii as well? Yes. Damn, son, that's seven whole yeah. different things. That's why I don't sleep much. <laughs> uh, Lou's also joined by uh, Nevin here. Who's hey, there. buddy. How's it going? Yeah, uh, he's looking real good. Um, <laughs> he's going to be driving our, our demo here. And uh, we're going to play yeah. some, some sweet Skylander swap for us. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is one of the original dudes, is it? No, so this is actually one of our new guys, and we brought something a little special here. This is actually a, a 3D rapid print. Oh, wow. Uh, it's hand-painted. He's earlier in production, but he looks really awesome in game, so we wanted to make sure that people got to see him today. That's also... Awesome. Even though the toy isn't ready. Yeah, yeah, so this isn't available anyway. This is, like, no. one of the ones you were making in yeah, the Yeah, all of, all of these are the ones that are actually going to be coming out this fall when the game releases, but this guy will be coming out later. And we just really wanted to bring him because he's really cool. Awesome. He's actually my favorite. Uh, we've also got uh, an exclusive E3 Skylanders figure as well, figurine as well. If you're in the GameSpot page watching this, go into the comments and use the hashtag GameSpot E3. I love Skylanders. That's what I've just decided. I the like that one. Be. Yeah. 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 GameSpot E3. It's very flattering. I love Skylanders. <laughs> and uh, if you're a GameSpot member, we'll pull your information. And 12 people. I don't have enough. There you go. 12 people will win. An exclusive E3 Skylanders figurine. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. Yeah, if, if people haven't seen it yet, it's really cool. For those 12 check, people, check, it's got, yeah, those we, 12 people, we your mind will be here. blown. Yeah, <laughs> we check, can check, pantomime check. it. So sure. it's going to be a very nice uh, color shift hot dog, which okay. is a, a popular character from Skylanders Giants. And he looks really cool. Uh, He's a, a variant that you can only get at E3. Wow. Uh, we even have the packaging marked up to say that it's the E3 edition. And he looks really cool. How many of the 12 do you expect to be on eBay within 24 hours? 11. Okay. No, I, I would hope zero, because, you know, if they're using the hashtag I love Skylanders, then they unconditionally exactly. love it and would hold on to them. Hashtag GameSpot E3. Exactly. I love Skylanders. I'll, we'll probably accept hashtag I love Skylanders <laughs> as well. Um, can we hop into the gameplay yeah, here? Yeah, absolutely. So what we're going to start with is actually, you know, I mentioned Giants a little bit. Mm. And one of the things that really makes Skylanders Swap Force and our entire series special is the fact that we actually fully support all of the characters that we've released for the previous the Giants game. and the first so game. So Giants, the core characters, every single toy from Skylanders Spire's Adventure and Skylanders Giants mm. are fully supported. So we're actually going to take one of our fan favorites from last year. This is Crusher. He's one of our Giants. We're actually going to bring him into Swap Force. Oh, wow. And what you'll easily be able to see is that Vicarious Visions, the team who's developing it this year, has actually brought in a brand new graphics engine. Okay. And he looks awesome. Oh, so you've got upraised uh, characters for... Oh, yeah. I mean, the entire... All of the characters have been graphically rebuilt, redone, all in the new HD engine. It looks... I mean, I think you can tell it looks really awesome. And one of the things that's really quick to notice is the fact that he has all his armor on him, which is different than what he has on the toy. Oh, yeah. And that's because as you play through the game, you earn upgrades, you earn different abilities, it customizes your character as you're going, and those are also carried forward. So Nevin here has been playing with Crusher since Giants, and all of his upgrades and abilities that he's earned on his character, which are stored on the character's brain, mm. are brought forward into Swap Force. That's excellent. Yeah. Um, See, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's it's crazy. Just to, for people who are, I've I've been aware of Skylanders, I think probably mostly because of Jeff Gerstmann's coverage <laughs> on Giant Bomb. A guy 
He loves him some Drobot. He loves. So that's good. Yeah, he's he's yeah. got a healthy set, let's say. Yeah. Um, so for people who aren't too aware of, of of the game, how it's like sold. Yes. So you've you've got starter packs, bumper packs, where head of the portals work, stuff like that. Yeah. So with the new one, with stand on the swap boards, what could, what should people know about what you need? So so basically, when you purchase the game, you're getting a starter pack, mm. and with the starter pack, it comes a copy of the game. It comes with the new Portal of Power, uh, and it actually is going to come with two of our Swap Force characters, mm. because we really want people to actually get their hands on that dynamic swappability innovation right out of the box. And then in addition to that, it's going to come with a new version of Stealth Elf, okay. who's uh, a favorite from the first game, done up in ninja garb, called Sweet. Ninja Stealth Elf. And she's really cool and actually appears in the game as a ninja. And so that'll be coming out you know, this fall, October 13th. It'll be $74.99 when you get the package. And then in addition to that, we have single characters that you can get. You can get a new Swap Force character like Freeze Blade here. Uh, you can get a core character similar to Star Strike. I like this guy. Yeah, Wash we Buckler. Some of them in the game. Yeah, we can actually toss them in. Wash Buckler. Yeah, let's, yeah sure. Let's, let's toss them in. Let's have a look. Let's have a so look. So we're actually going to start with this is Night Shift. And Night Shift's a vampire boxer. Okay. And he's one of our undead Obviously. element characters, and he's a member of the Swap Force. Mm. And as far as the Swap Force is concerned, they're actually a subsect of the Skylanders that venture and, and, and guard this magical volcano mm. in a section of the Skylands called the Cloudbreak Islands. And one time when they were guarding it, this volcano at the center of the Cloudbreak Islands erupts magic. Oh god, every, that's amazing. Every hundred years to actually replenish the magic in the Skylands. As they were defending it, they were caught in the blast, separating them into separate halves, oh, that's which horrific. gives them the ability to actually swap halves and mix and match together, thus creating the Swap Force. How careful have you had to be to not get a T for Teen rating on Swap Force? You know, our, our main demographic is 6 to 12, yeah. so we actually make sure that you know the game is family friendly, it's not, you know, them bisecting, it's actually a really fun experience to mix and match. Yeah. And then obviously with the new graphics we have to make sure it's still entertaining. We're really aiming to make it feel like a feature length kids film. Sure. You know, and it's really, you know, our whole goal with that. The aesthetic you have kind of uh, looks like that as well. Exactly. Let's yeah. uh, we've got the demo here running. Let's um let's have a look. Can you talk us through what's going on yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. So Nevin's just ventured down and spoken to one of the, the characters, the NPCs here, and he's let him know that our series villain Chaos mm. has actually returned turned and he's actually up to some nefarious deeds. Chaos is a causing, good name for a villain. It is, yeah. yeah. With a K, not a C-H. It's a K-A-O-S. So, so what you're saying is it's part of the Mortal Kombat universe. <laughs> Always those hard Ks, it's great, yeah. Um, so now we're actually switching over to one of our other new Swamp Force characters, this time of the air element. This is Free Ranger. And Free Ranger is awesome because he actually harnesses the power of the weather. So you'll see as he's doing combos with his blades, he's shooting off gusts of wind. He can actually shoot out lightning bolts from his eyes, and he can turn into a tornado, which will actually pick up and fling around the enemies thanks to the physics in the game. So you guys have always had co-op in Skylanders as well. Um, how much of the game is, should be played with two people? You can actually play the entire story mode with co-op at any time. It's drop in, drop out, entirely seamless. There's no loading screen with it. There's no menu for like selecting a level or restarting a level at a checkpoint. If I wanted to play, I would simply put a second character on the portal and then press a single button on the controller and join in. Okay. And what's really cool that we actually hear about, you know, especially our demographic, is actually how parents have started playing with their kids. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And they'll actually join in. But at the same time, if anything comes up, you know, say a phone call, the kid doesn't have to wait for the parent to do what they're going to do. They just take the character off the portal and hit a button, and they're out and playing right single again. player again. Was that a was that a, an intentional design step, do you think, or was it some, one of those wonderful happy accidents that kind of came around? No, that's actually one of our like essential like design facets for the whole game. It's really an elegance to it, and we really, you know, even though we're six to twelve, it actually goes kind of both ends. Sure. So the game's really designed and elegantly designed enough that it could be someone's first game. Mm. You know, we want to make it in so that way it could be a kid's first game, or it could be a kid's mom's first game. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's really something where there's a lot of things that gamers like ourselves take for granted mm. that really we're fine with, like a level select or a character selection screen, that really just one extra screen would frustrate someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So making it a seamless 
as easy to get into, as quick to, you know, hop into, making it so that you can use any character at any time. So Nevin's actually switching out. He's tossing on my favorite character, which is Frino, mm. who's awesome. Frino. Yeah, he's a leather fire rhino. fire rhino. I love this naming convention you guys got going here. It's crazy. <laughs> he's a fired up leather biker rhinoceros. And you'll actually see here, this is a dual elemental zone. And if he had a swap force character of magic and fire, he could actually enter this zone. But if he was playing in co-op, and I hopped in as a magic character, we could enter in there as well. So we're actually showing off some really cool areas, some really unique things going on in the game that are going to allow players to use their collection to find really unique areas. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. As I said earlier, uh, if you are looking to get one of our exclusive E3... One um, of 12. One of 12. 12. Yeah. Get all the fingers in. 12. 12. Uh, use the hashtag GameSpot E3 I Love Skylanders, which is the oh, one we I got made one. up earlier. This um, is what he looks like. Which camera are we, we have? We have one right here. Yeah. You can swap to camera. So this, is, look at that. this is one of the E3 uh, exclusive versions. This is Hot Dog. Get that you can see. Sweet focus. He's a really awesome kind of color shifting character. So as you see him in the light, he'll actually switch from a yellow to a reddish tinge. And you can see right there, e oh, wrong finger, E3. Look at the license. Look at that. Yeah. You can't ever take it out of the package. I, it's I like don't, but you know, the... I mean, yeah. some people are, are more frivolous. <laughs> Doesn't matter, really. So does that mean you buy, well, obviously you don't buy them, but there are people who collect these games, you were telling me earlier, that don't even have the game. They're sorry to collect yeah. the characters. We've actually seen from a lot of people that, you know, these toys, not only bringing them to life in the game is fun for them, but actually just playing without, you know, the game itself, just mm. in the physical world. I mean, we've seen articles online of kids making chess sets out of the toys. Jeez. We've, you know, seen kids playing with them. I've been to the beach and seen kids playing with their toys in the sand. It really is one of those things where, because we're in a physical realm, mm. as well as bringing them to life in the digital realm, it's something that's fun, you know, wherever you are, really. So when you have the, the Skylines, obviously this, you've got a whole new zone here as well um, in, in the new game. Yeah. So how does it work from a replayability standpoint? Kids, like when I think about my, my nieces and nephews when they're playing games, yeah. they play games ad nauseum. They'll play a game and happily replay a game. Exactly. Is that part of the philosophy behind Skylander Swap Forces that you can basically restart the game from the start? Or is it the, how long is it, would a campaign, yeah. shall we say, traditional campaign be for any one character? Well, so it's actually kind of interesting, and you bring this up, the way kids play versus the way an adult plays. Sure, yeah. You know, when I play, I laser yeah. focus, I play through, I'll probably play through with a couple characters. What we've seen with kids is that they'll constantly be switching these characters out. They'll replay whole levels before even playing through the entire game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our traditional length of the game, it's been similar from all three games. It's a standard, yeah, I mean, it's an action-adventure length game. But what we see is because We've got all these different characters, and the way that kids play is not only switching them out as they're playing, mm. but also replaying levels, yeah. replaying the game. And then we have all these extra zones that they can play if they get a, a different toy later on that they want to play with. So it's really a massive amount of replayability. And we've also kind of gone in, looked at you know how we can actually add to that by adding in bonus missions that you can find and unlock in the game that you can take your characters on. We've got a player versus player battle mode. We've got survival arenas. And then we also have four different difficulty levels, you know, three of which are unlocked from the start, and then there's a, a nightmare-esque difficulty that you can unlock by beating hard. That's for the 12-year-olds. Exactly. <laughs> but well, what we found is that you know, a lot of games, you know, where you earn upgrades and things like that mm. that are in the game have to feature something like a new game plus or yeah. something along those lines. Well, since your upgrades and your abilities are stored on the toy, every time you replay is your own new game plus that you're really making. Mm. So if you're leveling up, we've got Stink Shift on the portal here that's being played as. Another great name. Yeah, it's, it's a ninja skunk combined with the lower half of our vampire boxer. A stink Bomb combined with Night Shift. But if you're leveling him up, you're unlocking his upgrades, and you're learning how to play as him, it's all stored on the toy, so then you go back, maybe you started on easy, you leveled him up, you've reached his new level cap of 20, you've unlocked the upgrades that you like for him, then you hop in at hard. And it's like your own sort of new game plus, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's that new experience of getting to start the game from the beginning with all of these awesome abilities that you've learned how to play as on a harder difficulty for you to play as. Do you feel like the kids kind of, or anyone who's playing this game, that they swap 
the the characters between their friends like even like you can play my save game in a way do you feel like they yeah, people absolutely. trade and yeah what we've what we've seen especially with swap force as we've had kids you know get their hands on it is a lot of fun is that that couch co-op you know it's being yeah. in the same room and when they bring in you know their combination and then they see the move that their friends do it's not as simple as just swapping the character anymore and just you know mm. let me try out yours they can literally go Oh, I really like the stink attack, yeah, yeah. but I really want to hold on to, you know, the ice moves that I like from this guy. So now I, let's just swap parts, and now we've got freeze bomb, yeah, and we've got this is Night Ranger, <laughs> freeze bomb. How many combinations yeah. are there between all the swap so we have fours? Sixteen unique swap fours. So let me, characters. let me, let me. Let me uh, 256. Yes. Mm. Exactly. So there you, you combine the 256 possible combinations of these characters with the over 100 toys from the previous game. Got to catch them all. <laughs> but even then... How I mean, many are there then? There's... There, I, I don't even know the number at this point. Like outside of like, just say individual models. Yeah, at so this individual stage. at this stage, I mean we've got, you know, alternate deco versions of the characters. We've got say of light course. core variants instead of a normal variant. Um, so we've got just an astounding number. So if you think Maybe. about it, yeah. So over over a hundred from uh, the first two games. Mm. Plus you've got sixteen swap force characters in this game. You've got sixteen new core characters for this game, like Frino and Star Strike here, mm. as well as all the variations of Light Core or you know certain other things that we've got, like our wonderful hot dog treasure hunt. Yeah. The amount is, is crazy, and since the you know information is stored on the toy itself, the amount of replayability that it actually builds to. Mm is, you know, astounding. It's, it's unheard crazy. of, really. You guys, the, the, the idea of sharing and playing and joining and cooperating is it seems to be sort of ubiquitous with, with the Skylanders franchise. You guys are coming out on seven different yes. machines. Yes. One of those machines apparently won't allow you to play used games um, <laughs> that you get from one of your friends, or will it only allow you to do it once. How do you feel with all the sort of the sharing and uh, cooperative nature of Skylanders? Is the Xbox One a massive platform for you? Does that worry you at all, that there won't be this ability to share the, the software piece of it at least? You know, it's one of those things where I literally just found out about that myself. Mm. So I really don't have much of a comment, and it's something that our team and Activision as a whole is really looking at. Mm. But what's really great about the Skylanders games and the characters themselves is that they work regardless of platform. Mm. So if I have, you know, Stink Buckler here, and I'm playing it on my Wii. Stink Buckler. Stink Buckler. Hashtag the smelliest, Stink Buckler. The smelliest of all Skylanders. Yeah. Half Ninja Skunk, half Octopus Pirate. Uh, but if I have him, I'm actually saving all the upgrades and information on the toy. Mm. So if I'm playing on my Wii, I can then go to my friend's house who has the Xbox One, mm. put it on his portal, and all of my upgrades and my abilities that are stored on the toy will come into the game. Carry over, yeah. So regardless of platform, you can take it from the Xbox One to the 3DS, mm. to the Wii, to the Wii U. It really doesn't matter. It's all stored on the toy, and having that seamless integration between these physical toys mm. into the game is really what's making it magical. Seems pretty simple. It's it, it's only a shame the portals aren't all the same because then we wouldn't have been late. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's you know technical requirements. It's E3, needed. man. Exactly. What's E3 without a couple of technical foibles <laughs> here and there? Gotta exactly. say. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm taking questions. If you have any questions for Lou and yeah, uh, the silent, uh, cool cat and Evan there playing in the corner, <laughs> um, please feel free to tweet me at Daniel Dwyer and I'll yeah. make sure to. It's to really get great because he's actually at work like this. I know, it's wonderful. He doesn't say anything, he's got cool glasses on. Wait, just typing. look, when you're wearing glasses like that, you don't need to say anything. Right? You're supposed to not say anything. I mean, his future is literally that bright. He has to wear shades. Uh, Activision and Vicarious Visions kind of created this incredible like it's almost like a new well, I wouldn't want to close to say genre but it's definitely a new way of playing games yeah. um, Disney Infinity has kind of jumped into that little bandwagon you guys have what do you what do you think about that like that space getting more crowded you know it's, it's one of those things where it's, it's really awesome and we, we kind of call it a category mm. it's our toys to life category mm. and it's something that we're really proud to have invented and it's something that has worked really well for us. Boys to life. Is that, a, is that a number two? No. Boys to <laughs> boys to men. T T O. You okay. Know, yeah. We're we're teaching kids proper grammar here. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's bringing the chaos with a K. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a grammar, not spelling. Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> so I mean, it's something that we're really proud to have. You know, brought this category to life. And mm. you know, while we realize that people may want to join in because it's been really successful for us, 
we're really just laser focused on being as innovative and as fresh with our game as possible. Mm. You know, I mean, it's one of those things where I, I, I told you how many toys we have. It's yeah. really, I don't get much sleep. <laughs> Focus only on our game. Stuck sure. in a basement, typing away, working on, you know, the seven, game. So, seven different platforms. Exactly. Yeah. So it's really just, it's something that we're laser focused on making sure that Skylander Swamp Force is, you know, exactly what fans want. It's as innovative and unique as it really was the first time that you tried out Skylander Spire's Adventure. And that really, that dynamic swap ability aspect of being able to mix and match, you know, kind of how you move and how you fight and what abilities you have is really captivating. It's something that we're really proud to have brought to the game. Speaking of Spyro, of course, the first yeah. game, I think it's kind of interesting in a way that, you, that the Skylanders brand itself arguably became more uh, powerful, at least to that age group at that time that Spyro did. Is Spyro getting a look in? In Swap Force at Yeah, all? absolutely. Spyro's uh, one of our new, he'll be brought back as one of our new Series 3. Uh, we actually have him at the booth. Uh, he's actually called Mega Ram Spyro. Okay. And he's really cool because So is he like a massive skateboarding, like, yeah. woods? Not, not Mega Ramp. Okay. Mega Ram. Oh, Mega Ram. Yeah, so oh, you'll so actually, you'll actually see him. He has these huge horns curling around his head now. And he's got an additional move called a Wow Pow, where he actually charges up mm -hmm. using these huge horns that actually shoot off a firing like Spyro head at enemies to ram them. Is that Spyro Cannon? <laughs> it is now. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Uh, can, can we just have a look at the, the gameplay? I've got a couple of more questions. Yeah, to absolutely. Take, we, so we, we've, we've so Nevin's Nevin actually so. using, Nevin's actually, like I said, he's using Frino, he's one of my favorites, and you'll see he's actually glowing red hot right now. Mm. He's got these iron fists and his horn. And what's really fun about him is that because he's a fire character, the team at Vicarious Visions really thought of a really fun, new and unique way for a fire character to behave. Mm. So instead of shooting out fireballs or things like that, his fire is that it's, it's inside. He's actually getting really fired the up. fire inside. Exactly. The so, rage inside of him. <laughs> he just so wants to kill see, everyone. If we do it, Evan, if you do it, he'll actually slam his fists on the ground, getting more and more oh, red yeah. hot. And you can actually level him up to get really molten hot as well. And it's, it's actually a modifier to his abilities. Hmm. So when he's he's not fired up, he'll go back to kind of an iron look and have a basic set, but then you get him really fired up, yeah, get yeah. him red hot, and you'll actually see that he can ride a flaming motorcycle into enemies using his horn to ram them as well. You guys have like you guys have like zero boundaries on this stuff. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, sure. I was, I was down the pub last night and I was having a couple of beers and I thought, you know what, <laughs> what if we made him turn into fire and ride a flaming motorbike right? and, and, and everyone in the office silent for two seconds and they just <laughs> applause. I love it. There's a lot of slow clapping, it's great. I mean, one of the things that's really cool is that because we are our own IP, mm. we can actually start from the ground up and look at the gameplay. I mean, mm. Vicarious Visions just decided gameplay first and then kind of layers in the fun, layers in the character, the personality to them. But it's really focused on what would be so much fun for someone to play as? What would be fun for someone to discover the moves of? Because, you know, they, they actually have an upgrade chain for the branching path that, you know, actually has completely different moves that you're learning as you go. And it's just really great that they're able to start from scratch and build their way up to having these really unique, fun characters. So right now you can see we've actually got who we who we putting on there, bud. Who do you want on there? All right, let's do my favorite joke, and this is my favorite type of character here. We're gonna swap them. We're gonna bring on. This becomes Free Blade, and the reason I like him is because he becomes an ice skating storm chicken. All right. So if you're actually gonna say, what other game has an ice skating storm yeah. chicken? Really, I, I'd like to find it. Give it 12 months, somebody will rob the idea. <laughs> there you go. Every but good idea. Yeah. But what's really cool, and you'll actually see it, Nevin, if you actually just move normally, they have a, you know, if we're going techie and, you know, a little more adult here, yeah. they've got this really cool procedural animation system. Okay. And you'll actually see now that he's got, you know, Free Ranger's top on Freeze Blade's lower half, you'll actually see how he's animating and doing the skating motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's actually done for all different combinations. So they retain their own animations, they retain all of their personality for the upper half, you know, in their attacks but it's also a bit determined by their lower half locomotion style. So you can see now, Nevin's taken that upper half of Free Ranger and put it on the lower half of Washbuck. It's completely different. Free that is sick. That is, I don't like that, man. That's, <laughs> that's a little bit too real for me. To yeah, well now he's, now he's an ice skater, or no, now he's a, uh, 
An octopus pirate storm chicken. Ah, uh, that's my nightmare for tonight. <laughs> really appreciate it, Lou. Uh, yeah. so just before you go, uh, could you tell the folks at home uh, what uh, Skylander Swap Force, what platforms it will be available on, sorry, and where? Yeah, absolutely. So it's coming out. Uh, when, rather? It's October 13th mm -hmm. uh, in the US. Uh, it'll be coming out very close to that, you know, in their respective regions that's coming out in. And then we're actually coming out on the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, the Wii, the Wii U and the 3DS. Atari 2600. <laughs> ColecoVision, ColecoVision, the Odyssey. Am Amiga 600, yeah. the whole shebang. Yeah, the N-Gage, we're gonna side talk with it. It's gonna be great. Sounds good. Yeah. Lou, appreciate you coming over. Thank Nevin, you, Danny. much respect. <laughs> Incredible, what a man. Um, thanks very much for bringing it over. Yeah, absolutely. Great, uh, we got loads more stuff coming up on stage two, folks. Uh, the rest of the day, there's Disney Infinity are coming on. Ooh. I gotta say, Battlefield 4. Absolutely loads, the Bureau, XCOM, Declassified. Um, I'll be back with that pretty soon, but we're swapping out the Irish guy for the Scottish guy, because Cam Robinson's gonna be on the stage. <laughs> that guy right there, doing a Deus Ex Human Revolution director's cut, and we'll also be looking at the fall, the new iOS version of Deus Ex as well. So stick around right here on e3.gamespot.com or twitch.tv forward slash gamespot e3 stage two, memorized. I like uh, it. Stick around, and we'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs>